The outcome of negotiations between Hamas and Israel remains uncertain, particularly concerning the ceasefire and the prisoners' exchange. A delegation from Hamas left Cairo where the talks were held, and it is expected to return with a written response to a proposed ceasefire in Gaza. Despite challenges and disagreements during negotiations, Hamas has shown some flexibility in its approach to the latest proposal. This contrasts with Netanyahu's insistence on potentially invading Rafah, regardless of whether a truce is agreed upon or not. This gives an indication that the Israelis, and when we talk about the Israelis, we talk about Netanyahu and the government who are going to reject the deal, and the Palestinian resistance will not accept at all that there is talk of releasing the Israeli prisoners, as long as the Israelis are not convinced at any stage, or going to agree to withdraw the destructive military machine out of the Gaza Strip, as well as to agree to a complete and full ceasefire. The Hamas movement insists on a permanent end to aggression and the withdrawal of occupying forces from Gaza. However, the Netanyahu government firmly rejects these conditions, along with its ally, the U.S., who sees the latest proposal as a generous attempt to convince Palestinian resistance that this is their ultimate chance. Blinken, Blinken in his statement and between the lines, is indirectly threatening the Islamic resistance movement, Hamas, and the Palestinian resistance in general, stating, you have the last chance, or we will go to invade Rafah, as if Blinken is speaking on behalf of the Zionist entity. As negotiators strive to advance talks during the cover round between the Palestinian resistance movement Hamas and the occupying force, Netanyahu and his extremist allies persist in their push toward invading Rafah, which has become a conduit for Zionist threats and pressures on Hamas. Hamas in turn seeks robust assurance that will bind the occupying entity to the agreement, emphasizing conditions for a lasting ceasefire and the full withdrawal of occupying forces from the Gaza Strip.